Now, we can't have awards in this sports mad country of ours, especially in Paralympic year, without celebrating the success of our athletes. And we all took enormous pride in their achievements at the time, didn't we? Um, we recognise their passion and their dedication again here tonight for its own sake and also to encourage anybody who's living with a disability to rip into it and have a go. The Attitude Sportswoman of the Year will be awarded to the athlete whose level of achievement in 2008 represented the excellence in sport at the highest level. Presenting these awards are National Sales Manager, Carl Stanisic. Joining Carl, please welcome one of New Zealand's elite sportswomen, Olympic triathlete, Debbie Tanner. Thank you very much for having me here tonight. It is a, a pleasure and an honour to be here, to celebrate and to recognise all of you that have excelled in business, sport and the arts. I believe we are all here tonight for one reason, and whatever it is that you excel in it is because you have the right attitude. Attitude to me is all about a person's perspective towards a specific target or goal. And that is what has brought these sportswomen here tonight. It is my pleasure to announce the finalists for the Sportswoman of the Year. They are Kate Horan, Sophie Pascoe and Paula Tesserero. The winner of the Attitude Sportswoman of the Year is Sophie Pascoe. The powerful strokes of 15-year-old Sophie Pascoe are a sign of the mental toughness that has taken this teenager to the top. I just give 100% every time in the water and that's all I can do. Well, Sophie trains as well as she's a bloody good racer. When she lines up, she doesn't take prisoners. And it's going to be a brilliant gold medal for New Zealand's 15-year-old golden girl. Sophie was largely under the nation's radar until she bagged three gold medals and one silver at the Beijing Paralympics, making her the dominant medal winner this year among both Olympic and Paralympic athletes. She lost her lower left leg when she was run over by a ride-on mower. She was just two years old. Sophie's ruling schedule has her ploughing through 1,500 lengths of the pool every week. I feel it's pretty much like a job for me, you know, school, swimming, it's basically it. She was part of a strong squad of Paralympic swimmers who claimed six of New Zealand's 12 medals in Beijing. The gold medals and silver at Beijing has definitely given me the boost to go further. It's hard to get out of bed and, you know, do what you want to do and achieve your goals, but, you know, you've got to have that inner self motivation and um, I feel I've done that. Nice work. Because of her injuries, Sophie does a lot of gym time, working to balance her muscle development good. on both sides of her body. Cool. Good. Very good. I want to be the best in the world and breaking a world record and getting golds is, you know, it's an amazing feeling and listening to the national anthem and just being there for New Zealand and being a proud New Zealander, really. Um, well, as most of you have known, it's my first Paralympic year, and um, I'd have to say it was it was an honour to actually be there with a team of 60 of us that have helped me along with everything. You know, I'd also like to say thanks to Attitude for holding this awards night. You know, it's it's amazing to be able to show what disabled athletes and um, people with disabilities can do, and it's just awesome to be part of this and. You know, thanks to Attitude for this. Thank you. Our National Economic Development Agency New Zealand Trade and Enterprise is the sponsor for this award. And here to introduce the finalists are NZTE's Ewan Purdy. And with him, a man who's made a name as a media commentator, a blogger, an internet specialist and a columnist, Russell Brown. Geez, I can tell Mama was on the same stage as Judy Bailey. It's really good. 
Uh, I'd like to call on Ewan Purdy of New Zealand uh, Trade and Enterprise to announce the winner. Thank you very much. And, uh, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and, and Curtis, fantastic evening, well done. I'm delighted to be able to announce that the winner of the New Zealand Trade and Enterprise Attitude Award for 2008 is Samuel Gibson and Camuel Easton. The simple desire for independence inspired Samuel Gibson's innovative wheelchair the easy riser. Frustrated when his power chair broke down on a romantic holiday with his now wife, Samuel recognised there was a gap in the market. He described his dream chair to school friend Campbell Easton. Together they created an original design in a thriving export business. The wheelchair project started literally as, as a dream. A dream that one day I would be fully independent go to work and since then we've progressed to the stage where I am living that dream. Samuel has brittle bone disease, it's affected his growth and he's barely a metre tall. Sam was specific about what he needed in a wheelchair, comfort, sturdiness and suspension to cover all terrain. All their chairs are custom made. Most wheelchairs are quite small and hard, any, any little bump I would go over would, the shock would be transferred right up into, into me. And at the end of the day, I, I used to have quite severe headaches. And it was just because of the con constant jarring. Sam's chair has the ability to raise to eye height, drop to ground level, and it can withstand extremes of temperature. Over the last few years, the wheelchair project has obviously been a, a very big part of, of our lives. It's, it's taken a lot of our time, and, and, and I've lost a bit of hair due to it. It's so encouraging to see, to see the results and to see where, where the, the wheelchair is today. The Easy Riser is already sold in New Zealand, Australia and the USA. Next year it's being launched in Europe. It's taken six years and a lot of hard work, but Sam and Campbell are set to reap the benefits of their enterprise. We all have things in life where we struggle or are disabled, all of us. And I consciously try and focus on the things I can do. I just need to acknowledge uh, Campbell, who's the other half of this project, and without him and his company at Metal Form, this uh, chair wouldn't have reached the international uh, quality that it is today. And So thank you, Campbell, and also my family, in particular my wife, for uh, the huge belief in what we've been doing. Just today we sent our second container load of 90 chairs, which is changing 90 lives in the USA. So, uh, thank you.